Good evening, everybody. How are we tonight? My goodness, it is, um, oh my goodness, just another week. Um, and how quickly has it gone? I know last week we talked about, I know that my message was no excuses. And I know that my message that I, you know, from my guides, they kept letting me know no excuses, no excuses. And I just have to say that I achieved so much. Um, just in my my mindset, you know, what we how we feel sometimes is how we think and how we think is how we feel. So just changing that kind of mindset that no excuses, I was able to achieve so much in my personal life as well as my business life. But it was just really empowering to be finally be on top of things that I have been putting on the back burner and it's just been a really empowering week. Um, in the last, you know, the last 24 hours, I've been very emotional and I know that there's lots going on in the collective um, energy going on around us all and just really emotional and I know that we're in a full moon at the moment, so it's brought up lots of things for me, um, lots of things that I guess in my personal life that I haven't dealt with, which I thought I had. Um, and I've been connecting with my guides. I know before I go to bed at night time, yes, I can connect to my guides when I'm awake, but I know that they, um, during my sleep, I wake up around 3 o'clock in the morning and I ask my guides just to show me, show me where, where, I'm, where I'm going. And, you know, yes, I can see my future. Um, you know, I can see what's in front of me, but generally I... You know, when it comes to timing, I, I, I don't have much of an idea. Like, I, it, timing, or I, it's, it, I just don't know when things are going to happen, but I do know that when I see things, I know when, it, when I'm in, oh, my goodness, I can't even get all my words out of my mouth. I just know that when things are in a line, things happen. So, basically, um I connected to my guides and the message that I had for this morning, which I'm so excited because it's something that I've been wanting to finally complete, is to write my book. And I've wrote my chapters and it was something I did last year in December, but it's something that I'm going to start doing and I can't wait to launch it once I've finally written my book on my personal journey and and just how the spirit world has been it's just been a big part of my life. So I'm looking forward to launching my book. I'm going to set the date already, actually, while I'm online. And even though I haven't fully created the book, but I'm going to say it's definitely going to be out next year by July. So that's going to give me enough time to get it out there so everyone could see and read into my journey. But, yeah, it was just very empowering to See, that's what I'm going to be doing in the next few months and it's also going to be very healing for me given that I've you know I've gone through a separation um, and it's just yeah it's empowering to know that there's so many people out there that um, we all have similar journeys so enough about me I know that I do like to rattle on I do like to talk um, but it's yeah, enough about me. So we're going to connect because I'm really excited to connect with Ricky Lee in Brisbane, Queensland. Hello, Ricky. Lee, how are you today? Hello. Hi, Gemma. Good, thank you. How are you? Very Good. well, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Like, I just, before I ask where you would like me to look into your life, and um, I just keep seeing, are you a person that wear, wears hats at all? Are you a person that likes to wear accessories? Um, I normally wear some things. Yes, I wear a bit of headpieces and um, clips yeah. and things in my hair. I don't wear hats that often, but I do wear clips and bows in my hair, yes. Okay, because that's the sense I've got coming through. I'm, like, I'm really drawn to around your head area. So that's what it came through strongly. That's, you know, it's the way that um, you're very unique in how you present yourself, but you're unique as a person. That's how creative you get with your outfits, and you show who you show the world who you really are, and you're not afraid to not afraid to be yourself. 
Yes, that's exactly right. I've been trying to show my new self at the moment. I've actually um, conquered through a weight loss journey. I've lost uh, 93 kilos, so I've transitioned my whole body and changing up all of my designs and my fashion. So it's very different being able to wear all these new cool things now that I'm a lot smaller than what I used to be. Wow, you go, girl. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, a huge achievement and to be able to celebrate, you know, the big and the small wins, it's it's a huge accomplishment and, you know, it's it's quite a journey that you've been through and it's, it's you know, you've got new opportunities, even more opportunities coming your way that you never thought, you know, was possible but your, mind, your mindset has certainly you know, it's the strength yeah, definitely. that's really shine, shine through. Very, very excited for new opportunities. Very, very excited. Yeah, definitely. So how can I help you? Like what else can I look into your life at the moment? I what just, areas are you Yeah, I just wanted to thinking? get some guidance around um, like my personal relationships and just my family and my, my current relationship that I'm in at the moment, just how things, if you can see how things will pan that way and just financially just we've been a little bit stuck in a bit of a yep. bad area and we just want to see if there's going to be anything positive coming out of the next few months. We're really hoping for a bit of a turnaround. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The image that I have in front of me, I just want to explain it. It's like, you know, when you see like a cowboy and they're whipping the whip and it's like they throw that whip out and that whip comes back. It's like what you put out there comes back and it's like, like when you manifest, when you put it out to the universe and you're great at manifesting and it's because of that mindset and the strength, it's like what you put out there, it comes back. But it's also, it's shown me in regards to relationships around you. What I keep seeing is that there's someone in your life that keeps, it's like they they disconnect but they come back. It's like whether they're dealing with issues around themselves it's like you're connected, but it's something they're dealing with. It feels like you lose them for a little bit, but they're, even though they're physically there with you, there's somebody yeah. around you yeah. at the moment that uh, it just feels like they're disconnected. There's something going on that uh, it's, it's – what am I trying to say? Like, I'm, I'm, what I'm seeing is that they're there, but they're just disconnected. It's like they're dealing with things, and it's not personal, but it's – feels like it can be personal towards you because it feels like the issues that they've got going on, it feels like they're forever dealing with these issues and it seems to be an issue that, you know, it's it's something that it's... Uh, does it make sense what I'm saying around this person yeah, around no, you? Uh, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> yeah, well, I'm thinking of, of two people, um, either my mum, because her and I are in a bit of a on and off rough patch and... We we stopped talking for a while, and she's had a personal agenda against me due to a relationship. She's actually in a relationship with my ex partner. Weirdly yeah. enough, as that sounds, and there's a massive age difference. But she's um, always been quite paranoid about me wanting to be in a relationship with this person, which I don't. But her and I yeah. have been on very odd terms. I, I feel it could be her, or it could be my current partner. I'm not sure, but yeah. There's a few okay, things that, that helps you at all. Yeah, because it seems like it's it's and it's there's oh, it's yeah and okay. Just let me just tune into this energy because it's very frustrating the energy that I'm tuning into and it's like the person you know. Okay, so between the two people that you're thinking of, it's one of what's coming through is they play head games and it's more like. It's mind games that can be exhausting. It's like the same thing over and over. It's like you can predict what mm. they're going to do or say yeah. because it feels like it's a little a circle that keeps going on. It, it's like something that just keeps going on yeah. and on and on. Does that make sense for this one yeah, particular definitely. person? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, because yeah. that's what I keep seeing. And there's that frustration and it's like you've gotten to the point that enough is enough and it's like, you know, you just want to live your life. You just want to just move on and feel free. And this is what's exhausting. This is what really holds, pulls you down. It, it really has a, quite an effect on you mentally and with everything you do in your life as well. 
Yes, no, definitely. Um, what I do see for you, though, is you're putting your foot down. So I keep seeing your foot, what I'm seeing, actually, whether you've got a collection <laughs> of boots. I keep seeing the boots on your foot. So basically, you know, you're in control. But once you put that foot down, it really shows that, you know, enough is enough and it's time that, you know, you're not absorbing these energies, it, you know, that it, 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 there's a hold on you. It's like to let go, let go of what's pulling you or keeping you from moving forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I agree to that very strongly. Yeah, definitely. And it's like you, you've you got the biggest heart. You give so much. You give too much, actually. And it's like it's really yeah. great to see that. You're I really do. People tell me that all the yourself. time. Sorry? Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, people tell me I give too much all the time and I definitely need to try and redirect it back to myself. I've always put others before myself a bit too much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I feel that because it's like, and it's also very exhausting too. So this is your time. And, you know, given that, you know, we've got the COVID-19 financially around you, I see that it's been spiraling out of control with a few things. But it feels like it's things that you yes. haven't been in control of. And this just feels like financially there's money going out um, feels like money's going out more than what it's coming in at the moment, but it's interesting. I keep seeing stars mm. around you, so when I see stars around you, it's like it. It feels like okay. Just let me just see. I've got this star in front of me. Um, just let me just see. Okay, with you at the moment, are you doing anything north? Um, I'm, I'm, I've got the star in front of me. When I say north to you, with work. Okay, let me just see north. Does any does the star of north mean anything to you at the moment? Um, up north, I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm meant to be. I'm actually being asked to do a photo shoot um, up in north, like north of Queensland. That's about an hour or two drive from where I am. I don't know whether that could be it, or I do yeah. have an actual star that my partner bought for me. That's actually. In the room, I don't know if that's relating to that or whether it's to do with like a, a modelling opportunity that's coming up, maybe? Yeah, it feels with work. It's definitely with work and it feels like this is where, you know, it's going to be a prime position for you. It's, it's the flow of money. It just feels like there's opportunities around that that's opening and it's coming your way. You're moving towards it, so it feels like it's something that's, you know, I keep seeing, when I look at the star, I keep seeing the three points on it. So it's like three months, three weeks, three. There's something with three around you. It's where you get really creative, but it's going to be an influx of money coming your way. But it's opening up lots of opportunities for you. Okay, cool. So it just feels really positive at the moment. It's like what I keep hearing is to hold on to your... Um, hold on to your seat because once things start moving forward, it's going to take off for you. Yes, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, so that's hold what I've got seat, coming definitely. through. The other message that I've got coming through is to let go, let go of the um, let go of the things that are pulling you down. It, you know, it's just let go. You know, and it's whether that's just thoughts around certain people, but just let go. Because you've got the, okay. you know, the mindset, you've got the strength, the determination, you've got all these positive um, strengths. So just, yeah, it's let go of the things that are just pulling you back. Yeah, I really, I really want to get rid of all the past things. I really want to move on from all of that. Um, I did have another question before I forget. Um, I don't know if you yeah. can connect with family members that have passed on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just a question around father. your family members at all. I keep seeing a younger child around you. Have you got like a younger? A, yes. Uh, yes, I've, I've got, got a, a, a fourteen-month-old girl. That's oh. passed. Well, I have I have three I have three young children. No, I haven't had a child that that's passed away. No, I, I have. Oh, sorry, I have had two miscarriages, but the the child the yes. children weren't born. No, but okay. I have got um, three children at the moment. Okay, so if I have a child around you, just let me just see what the images I've got because I keep seeing this child in front of me. Okay, so the child that has dark hair, have you got a child that's got dark hair and I'm going to go towards a boy? Yes. 
Yes, I do have a young boy with dark hair. Okay, so what I keep seeing around this child, I keep seeing an arm, I keep seeing a grandfather figure around, even a male energy, but it doesn't feel like grandfather, even father. There's an oh. energy around a male, and I keep seeing the arm I was going to say, yeah, my, my dad. Okay, so, <clears throat> pardon, your dad? Uh, my, yeah, my dad. My dad passed away in 2012. Okay, and he's close to your this son of yours that's got dark hair. They're very similar in looks, even just with personality. Because what I'm seeing is that your father is around. There's a connection between the child that I'm seeing and your dad. And what I keep seeing is the hand placed out on the shoulder. It's like he's got the strength. He's got the strength. It's like oh, the message that's coming through for this little boy is that he has the world in front of him. His imagination is amazing. Does he point to stars? Is he into, I don't know, there's something going on around his nighttime. Ricky Lee? I think we may have lost her. But my message for you is that you have your father around you, around your youngest child with the dark hair. Love for you to connect with me, Ricky Lee, at Gemma Spirit World so we can continue this conversation. I think, Dave, um, we may have lost her. I'm just checking in. Okay, we have Sarah in, um, oh, God, USA. A Missouri USA. Yes. Hello, Sarah. How are you tonight? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Oh, very well. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I've got lots of flowers around you. What have you been doing with flowers? Um, you know, I've been gardening lately, and I've never gardened a day in my life until just recently. That's cool that you picked that up. I'm, <laughs> that's cool. I can see I it. Planted, I planted. Flowers. The funny thing is, I planted tulips and it's not even season for them because the season is over in our side of the world. So I messed up, but I'm still gardening, trying to ground myself. Oh, it feels beautiful. And it feels like you've finally connected with, I don't know, it's mother nature around you is beautiful. You connected to something that, you know, it's, it's brought you back to a space in your life where you feel Oh, it just feels, it feels beautiful. There's, it just feels, it feels amazing. So keep on doing what you're doing in your garden because it really has um, lit up a light inside of you that, and it's amazing because the ideas that come through when you're gardening, even if it's not about gardening or it's like, it brings a lot of peace to you is what I'm getting is when you're around your garden. That's awesome that you picked that up. Um, what do you specialize in, if you don't ask, or mind me asking? Um, past, present, and future, and I connect with loved ones. So, um, yeah, just see me in the right direction and let me see what else I can see for you. Okay. Um, here we go. Read my thoughts. I'm an open book. <laughs> Interesting you said about the open book because as soon as you said that, I had an image of a book opening up and you writing. So you're very creative in your words. If you are, are you actually looking at doing creative writing or even writing a book, there's something around your words. Your words have power. Your, your yeah, words have. Oh my gosh, I've been either deciding to because technology is so advanced now but since this pandemic I've been trying to write a book and I'm actually involved in it but I wanted to also make a movie so I didn't know which yeah. one to pick so obviously you picked it for me thank you <laughs> yeah no worries because it's amazing the book that you're going to write and it's like it's like the um it's like there's, it's going to continue. When you write one book, you're going to write another because what I'm seeing is that when the ink goes on the pages and it's just what my guides are showing me is that these words last forever. Like they're going to be around for a very long time and the power that you have behind your words, the emotions, the feelings, it's like people feel you through a book and it feels amazing. It's very empowering, but I'm also very excited what you're going to write. It feels like, 
it, it's going to capture a lot of, it's going to, the audience is, it can be of all ages. It's amazing what you're, it's amazing how creative and how your mind thinks. It's, wow, you're amazing. <laughs> thank you, because I've been, I've, thank you. I've been struggling really hard lately. Also, um, are you picking up on any male energy that might have not crossed over yet? Um, when I'm coming through around you, with this male energy that hasn't crossed over, has he got issues with his elbows or arms at the moment? Gotcha. Yeah. Because Man, I've got issues on. going. You got two guys? Yeah, what's, what's going on with this male's arms, with his arms? Does he have issues with his arms or his elbows? Yes, my dad, both, um, both, uh, that would either maybe be my grandpa or my dad. That's, um, my dad was an NFL player. He's real big and has strong energy. My grandpa, he built a multi-million dollar company and he just recently died and he was my idol. So I feel like they're still here trying to guide me and I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And shoulders. Would he have shoulder injury at all? Cause my shoulder, my arms all connected. I feel that. It's amazing because the energy that comes in around shoulders is that, you know, you feel like you're not supported, but it's amazing the support that you have around you, whether you know the people or not in your life. Do you think the elbow thing could be my, could be because of me, because I've been having really bad elbow pain lately. Oh, okay. Is that them them telling you to get it looked at, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and what's coming through around your elbows and it's like, it's listen, listen to what your body's telling you, you know, listen to the thoughts that are coming in. So the message from your loved ones are saying that, you know, listen to, listen to what your body's saying, listen to the thoughts that come in, even with your book. It's like, don't, don't, um, keep on listening because it's like you're listening but you're doubting your thoughts you're doubting what's coming through you're very intuitive I know that because I can keep seeing there's lots of um around you I keep seeing your third eye the purple around your third eye it's very clear but I'm also seeing that um don't doubt what you feel hear or see oh wow Oh my gosh, you're here, aren't you? Where are you? No, I'm just kidding. You're, you <laughs> are in know, my head. I went with that, sorry. Yeah. So, um, also, I have one more question if you have time. Yep, definitely. Okay, um, Oh, this is kind of hard. Um, I've been in the same relationship for three years, and I'm struggling. Is this the relationship that I'm going to end up in, or is this a relationship I'm learning something from, or yep. is this something okay. that's going to be long term? Okay, so what I have coming through, I keep seeing your heart, but what I see around your heart is it's like in a cage, so it's like the feelings that it's like every time you express yourself, you get ignored or your feelings aren't validated. So what that's letting me know is that, you know, your wars have gone up around you, protecting yourself more because it feels like your feelings aren't validated or you're not getting, not getting, the the feelings aren't reciprocated is what's coming through. Yes. Oh, my gosh, you are so right. Where do I donate money here? Because you're amazing. Oh, you know what? If you just follow my Facebook page Gemma Spirit World just sharing the love of my Gemma. page is enough I have a cousin named Gemma do you spell it J-E-M-M-A uh, a true gem either way but yes thank oh, you wow. I love yeah That's amazing you are a light worker okay um, anything else that you see um, let me just have a look. I keep seeing, ooh, I have a river around you. Do you have a river close by around you? Is there somewhere that you go to see and watch the water or see the water? Because generally around water, yeah, it's about emotion. I, I have a big lake. I have a big lake in my backyard. Oh, <laughs> wow. You have a beautiful backyard. And this is where you 
you go out to reflect and it's amazing with your writing. It's like, you know, when you feel like you get writers, you know, when you get a writer's, what is it, a, a, a block, writer's block, it's like go out to the river and go out to the lake and that's where you can un, un, release any blockages that you have when it comes to, when it, when it comes in between your creative writing. So that's your... It's funny. You know, it's funny about my grandpa. And, being water. and when you're around water, it, you know, it helps with expressing yourself and helps any blockages in your body. My grandpa that passed away that you felt, he actually yeah. built that man-made lake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you, you are wow. really tapped in. I can feel it here. Yeah, and he's definitely around you. But thank you, Sarah. It was lovely to connect with you because I only have 90 seconds, but please share my Facebook page, Gemma Spirit yeah. Weather, to everyone, and that's my love. Share, share, share. Okay, thank you. I'm sitting. Light and love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Um, all righty, so we have 60 sec- seconds. Thank you for everyone for tuning in to... A1R Psychic Radio. I enjoyed tonight's show and I look forward to connecting with you all next week. Please follow my Facebook page, Gemma Spirit World. Thank you.